There are a lot of stories about aliens, alien spaceships all around the world. But none of them seem real. Are we the only ones in this universe? The observable universe, meaning the universe we can see, is 90 billion light years in diameter. This is an insane number, and it's just the diameter, not the volume. In this universe, there are more than 100 billion galaxies. Galaxies that hold between 100 billion to 100 trillion stars. And the biggest one is IC1101, which we've made a video on it before. So in a universe with this many galaxies and stars, just imagine how many planets are in there. You can't really be certain, but there are more than a trillion trillion planets in the universe. Or a number you can't really imagine. So all these planets that are orbiting the stars, there should be alien life, right? But where are they? Why can't we see them? If there is life in other galaxies, even the galaxies that are right next to us, they are so far that we will never reach them. And we can't see if there are aliens there. In today's day and age, getting outside the Milky Way is impossible and we can't even think about it. Even if we have light speed spaceships, it will take us millions of years to travel to other galaxies. So it's not really worth it thinking about it. Let's just look at our own galaxy, the Milky Way, We'll look at the other ones later on in life. You guys already know, the Milky Way is a medium sized galaxy. But still, it has over 400 billion stars in it. And you guys know one of those stars very well. And life wouldn't be here without it. So in our galaxies, how many of these stars are there? Scientists say there are around 20 billion stars that are like our sun. And each star has a bunch of planets rotating around it. One fifth of these stars have planets just like the Earth. And they're at a perfect distance from their star. So if 0.1% of these planets that are in the Goldilocks zone have life, that equals 1 million planets. So there is a slight chance that 1 million planets have life. And this is just planets in the Milky Way. Earth's age compared to the universe is pretty young. And modern humans, you could say are around 20,000 years old. So if there was a planet in our universe that came before Earth, let's say 1 billion years before us, what level would this civilization be at? there's a high chance that they're extremely advanced. What would a civilization like this look like? You can divide these civilizations into three categories. A type 1 civilization is so advanced that it can use 100% of the energy it has in its planet. Us humans are 73% there, and they say around 200 years later, we're gonna be a type 1 civilization, so we can use 100% of the energy of planet Earth. The next one is a type 2 civilization. This civilization is a lot more advanced than type 1. These creatures can harvest 100% of the energy of their star, and the idea they have is they use a Dyson Sphere. A type 3 civilization is so advanced that it has access to 100% of the energy of its galaxy. If we continue at our pace 
and get more advanced day by day, in 2 million years, we're gonna be a type 3 civilization and we can use 100% of the energy in the Milky Way. 2 million years is a lot of time, but the Milky Way galaxy is ginormous. So if we can get this advanced in 2 million years, what would happen in 10 million years? What would happen in 100 million years? We are asking this because there are planets way older than planet Earth. So there's a chance if there are aliens on these planets, they had a head start way before us. So where are they? Why can't we see them? Why can't we see them? This is a paradox and they call it the Fermi Paradox. Nobody has an answer to it either, but there are a lot of theories and ideas. First of all, the filters. There's a chance that life as we know it is extremely rare and hard to get to, and the filters along the way won't let you continue forward. We have passed a lot of filters to get where we are today. It might be extremely hard to where we're standing, meaning 73% on the way to a civilization type 1. One of the most important filters we passed is that we went from single cell organism to multi cell organisms. Another filter happened about 65 million years ago, and that's when the dinosaurs went extinct and it changed the whole ecosystem of planet Earth. We have passed a lot of filters to get where we are today. But don't think we're finished. They say we haven't passed a lot of the filters yet and we're gonna get to them. I'm happy to say that we passed these filters and hopefully we don't face any bad ones. A lot of scientists believe that humans themselves are gonna create more filters along the way. There might be a scientist that invents a new bomb but when they go test the bomb, it creates a black hole and the black hole kills everybody on Earth. This could be the reason that we haven't seen aliens yet because eventually they will succeed so much that they'll destroy themselves. And this has a really high chance. There could be a chance that there are type 3 civilizations and can make themselves invisible or they could even make themselves look like humans and come among us. We don't know anything yet. We feel like we're alone because we can't see them. What do you guys think? Do you think we're alone in the universe or are they among us? Arthur C. Clarke had something cool to say. He said, we're either alone in this universe or we are not, but both of them are equally as scary.